Welcome to Getting to Know You. John McFarland and I have recorded for the first time a two-part Getting to Know You. We have a very big topic, Black History for Black History Month. And uh, so we have an opportunity to talk a little bit more uh, about how Black history is um, part of our history and here at Stonebridge. So part one and part two will be up to be seen on YouTube and we will be announcing the fact that there are two parts. So I'm very happy to say that we'll start, of course, with part one and think about black history and how the resources we have in our own library do so much to help us engage with this long and big topic that is really all our history. I'm delighted to have Sheila Berkelhammer with me this morning, and we're calling her Librarian Emerita. M no, M M what is it? Emerita. Emerita. <laughs> Emerita. I, I knew it was a very impressive term. <laughs> because there are now more than 20 people who are working in the library and making it uh, hum and uh, are helpful to people who come there and make sure that people give the books back. <laughs> That's another problem. So we thought we'd talk to Sheila about this tradition of identifying um, a month and then uh, indicating where the library has resources. And Black History is such a wonderful example. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the exhibit that you do and, yes. and so on? Thank you, Ingrid. Um, every month we do an exhibit to highlight um, items from the collection that reflect whatever is going on that month. And this month we've got a display of books that the library owns, uh, which would help understand, help people understand black history. The exhibit is done every month by Ruth Iger with help from Sylvia Wagner, who's the chair of the steering committee of the library these days. So please come by and, and see the display. Uh, we've got books in, in a number of categories, uh, a number of, of fiction um, volumes, including one of the best books of the year from 2023, won lots of prizes, will probably win many more, uh, The Heaven and Earth Grocery Store by James McBride, uh, which is a, a funny and a sad and an intriguing tale of a little part of Pottstown, Pennsylvania back in the 30s. Immigrant Jews, lots of black folks, both discriminated against, both downtrodden, and the white establishment, which kept themselves in power. And the, the book um, not only won the Pulitzer Prize, but it's been nominated for many other awards as well. And people like it. They got it for Christmas. It's, 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 people, it, it, it's an amazing book. It's funny and it's sad. And, and the other and I, thing, and did you tell me that the author now lives in Ewing Town? No, he, the author grew up in Ewing. James oh, okay. McBride grew up in, in Ewing, mm -hmm. the son of a black father and a Jewish mother. <laughs> so he understands um, where both of those groups are coming mm -hmm. from. Um, the immigrant Jews and the black folks in what's called Chicken Hill, which was a neighborhood are discriminated against by everybody, <laughs> but find each other and and as the plot develops, work together to uh, save a handicapped black young boy from a very brutal and cruel mental hospital into which the white establishment has, has sent him. We should clarify that the library does not have a black history section. What's no. wonderful is that you can find a book about black history long ago right. or today in different places. Uh, and there are a lot of them, as you can yeah. see. They're like yeah, I've got a few here. Uh, fiction in, in the Stonebridge Library is arranged in alphabetical order by the author's last name. So James McBride is one that, that you should look for. Another, of course, is... Um, He's not far from uh, uh, Tony Morrison. Tony Morrison. <laughs> Tony Morrison is probably the premier author of 
fiction about black history. We've got a number of her books. Um, she won the Pulitzer Prize. She was probably the first African-American woman to be awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature. Uh, Beloved is the outstanding book of all her work. Um, it's, it's an incredibly um, sad and, and compelling story of black folks as how, during, well, I think before. how horrible slavery really before. must have been. Yeah, yeah. I, I, um, the dedication is to 60 million and more, which refers to the 60 million black African Americans who were enslaved. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you haven't read it, it's, it's an amazing story. Um, and all of Toni Morrison's books are on the shelves. The fiction section is arranged alphabetically by the author, so you know now James McBride, you know Toni Morrison, and, and there are many more, um, and some of the other folks today will be telling you about some of those. Where was Trevor Noah's book? Trevor Noah is in biography, I'm going to get because, to that, yeah. yeah. Because I bring that up as a very different kind of book that young people are reading, and I think our people here have been in, enjoyed as giving yeah. us a, a glimpse of a different kind of uh, childhood in right. a very different country. In, in South still, Africa. It's the same, right. same thing. So. Um, that brings us to biographies. We've got a lot of biographies of African Americans, and they are arranged <coughs> alphabetically by the person written about. So if I write Ingrid's biography, oh boy. the call number <laughs> will not be B and my first three letters of my last name. They'll be B and R, E, E, the first three letters of okay, Ingrid's. Okay, so the B stands for biography. B for biography, the first three letters of the person okay. written about. Right. Trevor Noah is uh, an autobiography, so it's yeah. the same thing. Yeah. Uh, other great biographies we have are the immortal life of Henrietta Lacks. Henrietta Lacks was a black woman who died of cervical cancer at the age of 31. The hospital harvested her cells and, and was able to create what are called HeLa cells, H-E-L-A for, he, for Henrietta Lacks. And has, uh, this has been the most outstanding, one of the most outstanding uh, treatments for, for cancer it has brought not only fame but fortune to the people who harvested those cells. They were harvested without Henrietta Lacks' knowledge, without the family's consent, without any reward to the family for this, which has um, been a kind of typical occurrence that many black folks have, have endured because it, it it just really didn't think it was important enough. Uh, I don't I know. It, anyway. it just did, I, I, you have to wonder if, if Henrietta Lacks had been white, whether it would have been yeah. different, but who knows? Well, you know, Sheila, what you're showing us is really how engaged people are who run our library, who, who care about it, and would like to help people find things, either if they know what they're looking for, or if, if they want a suggestion. Right. And I, I think that because you've all worked so hard to arrange things so well, but people can actually find things. When you think that all of these books have been donated, basically, except for this uh, small number that you have bought with uh, a, uh, a gift from the a Residence Association, we have to thank all the people of Stonebridge who have contributed so yes, much. Yes. But then they're not all, I, I envision them all being on a big pile and you have to search through them. No, no, it's not like that not at all. Not at all. So I'm I'm not, re yeah. I really want to thank you for uh, representing that kind of good management. Thank you. Thank you. So that's very nice. <laughs> you have one other book you want to tell us uh, about? Yeah, I wanted uh, another wonderful biography is. Maya Angelou's I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings. Oh, right. mm -hmm. uh, the Caged Bird is a, is a reference to the kind of conditions black girls grew up with under segregation and discrimination in the, in the, in the South. Um, this book, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings, 
Sings is the first volume of what was eventually a seven volume autobiography. Wow. We've got number one, volume one, which is the most famous. We, other, we also have um, James McBride, who wrote The Heaven and Earth Grocery Store. We have his autobiography, uh, which is called The Color of Water. And again, alphabetical by the author's last, by the subject's last name. Um, we have another big category with lots of information about black history. Yeah, um, and that. that's nonfiction. Yeah. And those are arranged by what's called the Dewey Decimal Number, which, <laughs> which tells you two things. We, we two, learned that in high school Yeah, library. right, Dewey Decimal. <laughs> um, the call number tells you where geographically the book is. Mm -hmm. uh, in our library, there's that whole, some people call it the library nook around that big table. Mm -hmm. um, the, the number tells you where the book is and also what it's about. So one of the best books that we've got is Isabel Wilkerson's The Warmth of Other Suns, which details an amazing event in American history, and that was the mass migration of Southern black families and individuals out of the South where they had no hope of, of achieving economic stability or, or right. respect to, to basically three areas, um, the Northeast, and the Western United States and um, the Chicago area. And it's it, a long read, but it's it's, worth, a, it's worth a long it. read, but it's absolutely worth it. Right. Um, so you're not going to be at the library all the time, but there are all of those other people who are making it work and can provide information. Uh, I, I, I think we wanted to have this program be a tribute. Uh, both to black history and what we can learn right here at Stonebridge yeah. and to the library that makes it possible. Yeah, I, so, I, can so I thank just, you for joining us. Okay, can I just move the outside Katie's office? There are three items that you might want to take a look at. This yellow card, you can ask the library to buy something. Oh, okay. And if you want to fill it out and drop it in the book return, mm -hmm. um, stands at the two library entrances. There's a, a, the white sheet is basic information about the library, and the pink one is uh, information about how to find things in the library. So we hope that you will... If they couldn't remember everything they, they yeah, told yeah, them, they right. could go to the pink sheet. Right. <laughs> well, thank you so much, uh, both for your role at the library and for your interest in the topic that we chose for getting to know you today. Thank you. We really are very appreciative. Thank, Thank you. To everybody but you yeah. for getting it started. Thank you.